after the bus and scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster! Great work! Whoa! It's a soccer bus! He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. Now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no! The red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it! Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Yay! Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. What was that? Bandit has some marshmallows. Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! Uh-oh, it's blowing away. Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! Phew, he's okay! Time to finally put the tent up! Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster! Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. Wow! They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, delicious! What a brilliant day! Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck! Hooray! She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire! Yippee! It's time to practice! They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first! Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better! Well done! 
<laughs> now it's Buster's turn. <laughs> wow! Watch out, Buster! <laughs> that was a great day, but now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you. Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. <gasps> Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no! Quick! Phew! The fire is out! Yippee! What great teamwork! <laughs> it's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy Fire Truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! Buster and Ash are on holiday at the beach. Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue. And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle. Whoa, those waves are really coming in. Quick, the sand castle could be ruined. Ash to the rescue. He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand. Great idea, Ash. Oh, look, it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. Hooray! <laughs> oh no! Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves! They've ruined their sand castle! Buster is very sad! But Ash has got a plan to save it! Buster is too upset to help! <laughs> Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up. I wonder what flavors he'll choose. Wow, that's a huge ice cream. Whoa, steady. Ash is still fixing the sand castle. Buster could get Ash an ice cream too. But he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle. Buster's only getting ice cream for himself. Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream. So he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it. Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream. Yum, yum, delicious. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster? Yellow, of course! Let's paint! Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scouts. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? A 
Bumblebee. Not on the cabinet, Ash. Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful, that paint is very messy. Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere. What a mess. Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor. <gasps> and now the purple. Yikes. Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun. Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess. But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn. And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone! Wow! The room looks completely clean! Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops! Well, not completely. Buster looks so excited. <laughs> I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. <laughs> Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores. Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. 
Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops! I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look! It's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait! Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball! <laughs> he does need the practice! It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa! Some real cooking! Buster is very excited. Let's cook! Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce! Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster! Oops! The flour has gone everywhere! Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour! Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere! Great job, Buster! Oops! Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor! And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over! Oh, look! It steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going! Watch out, Grandpa! Oh, dear! This isn't going very well! Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh! They still haven't made dinner! What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha! This gives Buster an idea! Time for chocolate sauce! Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious! Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh, dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed! Great work, Buster! Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. <laughs> They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. <gasps> Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. 
Buster explained he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear. I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. It's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team, though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm, Buster thinks they should go this way. But Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear, they can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look, Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it. If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh, off they go. That's more like it. Now it's a real fun snowball fight. It's much better with teamwork. <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is. There's Buster, Mommy, and Grandpa. I wonder where they're going on such a snowy day. Oh, wow! They're going to get a Christmas tree. So many trees! <gasps> Which one to pick? Ha -ha. Hmm, what's this? <gasps> Buster wants the biggest tree there is. That really is tall. <sighs> now it's time to take it home. Mommy is pulling the tree in her trailer. 
Phew, that looks heavy. Wait, oh no! The tree is too big to fit through the front door. But wait, Grandpa has an idea. Now they're trying to take it up the ramp. Nope, that doesn't work either. But now Mommy has a bright idea. Hmm, it doesn't fit down the chimney either. But Grandpa has another idea. Three, two, one, charge! Oh dear, it still doesn't fit. It's just too big. Look, it's Scout. She's off to get a Christmas tree of her own. I think Buster has an idea. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Grandpa's using his saw. Whoa, they cut the big tree in two. Scout can have half, and the other half will fit through the front door. Hooray! <laughs> there, that Christmas tree is just the right size for the house. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. Oh. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> it's a brand new day, and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no! Phew! Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! But Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? 
And some signs. It's a duck crossing. Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. Hey. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs>